how it's come to be born again of the water and the Spirit. The New Testament doesn't teach that we save ourselves by getting baptized. It says that God saves us. But the Bible does teach us that the, the blood of Jesus Christ takes away our sins. The Bible makes it very clear that it's when we repent, when we believe, that we should place our faith and our trust in Jesus. His dying and His rising again. Amen. The New Testament teaches in several places. Romans chapter 6 and in Colossians chapter 2 that <coughs> baptism is for those who believe, those who repent. In Colossians it's described as being a kind of starting point. It's comparable to circumcision. Something that initiates a person into the faith. In Romans chapter 6 he says... It is the place where we join up with the death. That is, in other words, it's where we come into contact with the efficaciousness of the blood of Jesus. <coughs> Romans 6 also says that if we die with Christ, that we shall be raised with Him. So I have these, these four questions for you. Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God? Yes. Amen. Do you believe that He is the atoning sacrifice for your sin? Yes. Yes. Do you believe that he died and that he rose from the grave victorious? Yes. Do you commit yourself to walk according to his ways? Yes. On the basis of your confession and your faith and your commitment that Jesus is your Lord, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit for the remission of your sins that you might receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank <laughs> you.